Hello and welcome back. This is the section where we will be going and understanding SAP Web ID. This is Web ID, which is used for your SAP UIFI application, Fiori application, and now you also have the full stack Web ID where you can create the entire application for your HCP or HANA Cloud Platform. Now there's a lot of version variety and uh, sometimes it's overwhelming for the developer to understand and keep track. This course will be giving you enlightenment and it's a weekly course where we are going to add weekly modules on this web ID and why we are doing it. Now the main reason for going and selecting web ID and focusing our attention on web ID is that because most of our users are developers. They want to use the new things which are out there which can reduce the time of development of Fury application, deployment of an end-to-end -end application on HCP and understanding how it's done. And in those scenarios, getting a good acquaintance with the tool is a must. Like the ancient warrior samurai who has gained the popularity because of his mastery to the sword, the web ID is going to be the next sword in this year. For UI5 and Fiori developers and the front-end developers who are using this framework for enterprise technologies with SAP integrations, will be using SAP Web ID a lot. And there are multiple variety of SAP Web ID which you will be using. In this entire scenario, we will be telling you what are different types of Web ID and where they are used. Can you use the Web ID for personal purpose? And also, what are the platform where you will be using Web ID? Is it HCP, S4 HANA, or it is for a BAP platform or ERP, which you might be having in your landscape? Can you write code in a BAP in your Web ID? Can you write code of Java in the Web ID? All these questions you have, and how to do it, how to create your own Web ID with the grunt build. And not only that, we will be telling you how to write applications with minimal development, just it is about extending application or it is about creating a new application with just drag and drop functionality or changing an existing application with drag and drop functionality. And what is the ideal architecture if you are setting the architecture for your company for the web ID? Now let's try to understand first how many different types of web ID do you have now and what are they used for?